Hello everybody. In this video, I will talk about Bumble stock and how it's been doing recently. Unfortunately, it's been involved in some controversy lately, so I wanted to go over that and give my personal opinion. Let's get started. So if we look at Bumble stock, ticker symbol BMBL, right now Bumble is at $11.47. It's a fairly new stock, only been in the market since 2021, so not that long. Right when it got into the market, it went up by a lot, like 75% immediately. But since then, as you can see, in the past five years, it's down over 73%. Now me personally, I've done plenty of plays on Bumble. As you can see, I've done debit spreads, and even when it first came out, I actually bought some shares. Back in February 2021, when Bumble was still a new stock, I bought 100 shares at $79.38. However, I immediately sold it for a quick profit at $81. So I bought some and then I sold one for just a quick profit. Then after that, I did several debit spreads, call debit spreads throughout 2021 and 2022. So I've done a lot of plays on Bumble. Now let's talk about the controversy that it's been in recently. Here's an article from The Biz that explains Bumble's recent controversy. Bumble dating apps anti-celibacy campaign offends asexuals and others. A rebrand followed a stock price plunge. Here in this picture, we can see an example of one of the billboards that Bumble released as part of its rebranding. It says, you know full well a vow of celibacy is not the answer. So it's telling women to not practice celibacy and to go out and date. Bumble blew it. The one-time world's most popular dating app has been in turmoil for the past year as fickle users dropped the women first sight and the stock price plunged. New management embarked on a revamp, first losing the very feature that made Bumble so popular, only women could initiate a conversation with another user. Women can still opt to make the first move by initiating the chat or by selecting an opening move which prompts people to respond to a question that can only be seen following a match. So back when Bumble first launched, it was supposed to be a dating app where only women could initiate the conversation. Only women can send the first message. However, it has lost that feature that made it so unique. Now, if you compare it to other dating apps like Tinder, OkCupid at the time, people can message each other. It was not only just women initiating the conversation first, and because Bumble had this requirement that women had to message first, that made it stand out from other dating apps. However, that's no longer a part of the app. Nonetheless, the original trademark distinction brought a sense of safety and empowerment for women tired of being creeped on by men trolling for dates, though it also prevented non-binary people from messaging first. Now, in same gender and non-binary connections, either person can make the first move, or either person can set and respond to an opening move. Then Bumble knocked the second leg of their once successful strategy out from under the female forward site, respecting the choices women make. In a massive ad campaign fail, Bumble told women, celibacy sucks. Thou shalt not give up on dating and become a nun. And you know full well a vow of celibacy is not the answer, were just two of the ill-conceived billboard ads that Bumble bumbled. Now, asexuals and every other woman for whom celibacy is a choice, and the women and men and gender-fluid people who respect them are fleeing the app following the epic branding misfire. To our beloved Bumble community, a rank apology from the app began, we made a mistake. 
The Tracely committee ridden regret cited the asexual community, for whom celibacy can have particular meaning and importance, which should not be diminished. Women, for whom celibacy is the only answer when reproductive rights are continuously restricted, and others, for whom celibacy is a choice, one that we respect, as communities they heard from after unleashing the offensive celibacy assault. We are also aware that for many, celibacy may be brought on by harm or trauma. Bumble blurted way too late. Here's a picture of their post apologizing. Instead of bringing joy and humor with the Too Clever by Half campaign, we unintentionally did the opposite. Instagram commenters' reaction to Bumble's apology was withering. Women are tired of the harassment, gaslighting, abuse, and trauma we experience at the hands of men. Shaming us back into engaging with them will not work. It's appalling that this company is managed by women who clearly have not read the room," one commenter wrote. Run an ad campaign telling men how to write better bios, take better photos, how to actually hold a conversation, and string a basic sentence together and not randomly bring up sex in the middle of a normal conversation. Then men will have more success on your app. This isn't women's problems to fix," another commenter wrote. This is entirely performative, yet another wrote. We are exhausted, and being celibate is easier than dealing with the dumpster fire that is trying to date as a straight woman. To be honest, regardless of age, a fourth commented, this ad campaign was in such poor taste, especially because they're supposed to be advocating for women and not exploiting them to lower their standard for the atrocious hookup culture. Men be better. There, fixed it for you," yet another person replied. The company's stock price has dropped $2.69 in value over the past six months. While that drop may sound small, it represents potentially hundreds of thousands in lost value for stockholders overall. This article goes on to explain more features of the Bumble app, but I think by now we get the idea. Bumble really messed up. This ad campaign was horrible, because think about it. Bumble was a company that was founded by a woman. Its CEO is a woman. And the dating app was created to empower women to make the first move. However, a lot of people see this ad campaign as a way of telling women what the right choice is, instead of allowing women to decide for themselves what the right choice is. Now, for me, I do think that part of why they're doing this is because they're a dating app. They make money off of people dating. And since Bumble is a publicly traded company as of 2021, they are obligated to try and make money for shareholders. But how could they do that if women choose to be celibate? So of course, they're stuck between a rock and a hard place because if they actually do respect women's choices to remain celibate, then the app does not make any money. In order for the Bumble dating app to make money, people have to date. And if people aren't doing that, then the stock price is going to plummet and shareholders will not be happy. So they had to do something drastic like this because what other option do they have? However, the other option is to prioritize money first and take drastic measures to try and get women to start using the app again and start dating and not be celibate. However, by running an ad campaign like this, that makes so many people very upset at the company. But honestly, what choice do they have? The way that I see it, they can't do both. So they have to pick a side. Do they want to respect women's choices to remain celibate? even if that means the downfall of the company? Or do they want to deprioritize the respect for women's choices in order to get more money and create more value for shareholders? Because they can't do both, in my opinion. They have to pick and choose which side they're on. If you think about it, the success of Bumble 
depends on the failure of its users. Because if the people who use Bumble successfully find a good match and enter into a relationship, they might not use the app anymore. So in order to make money, they have to get people to keep on using the app. It's contradictory. Bumble is in an unfortunate situation where the success of its product depends on the failure of its users. And no matter what they do, no matter which way they go, they're either gonna make people really mad or they're going to make less and less money by allowing people to do what they want to do. So there's really no good decision that Bumble can make. They're just really stuck. And because of that, I do not have any position in Bumble at all and I will not be investing in it anytime soon until they find some magical way to respect the decisions of people to not date while at the same time trying to get people to spend money on their dating app. To me, that sounds almost impossible, but we'll see what happens. But yeah, Bumble stock has not been doing well recently, has been in some controversy, and right now they're kind of stuck, in my opinion. Alright, that's pretty much it for this video. That's all I wanted to go over. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you. Bye.